why of all countries you chose Kenya? Now, this is a personal question to yes. you. Because most of us, when we think of moving out of the country, we think of Canada, America. Yeah. That's where we think opportunities are. Yes. But according to my simple research here, there are Ugandans who are making it big time. Well, one of the biggest, I wouldn't say that, I think Kenya chose me. Chose you. Yeah, Kenya chose <laughs> It's a calling. It's a calling. <laughs> Kenya is a, a transportation hub. Yeah. So if I want to go anywhere in Africa, I can, within moments' notice, go to JKI and buy a ticket and I'll be in a while. Mm. Even uh, with investment, mm. uh, this is uh, number one, a tourist hub. Mm. It is an events hub. Mm. They have a lot of events. Yeah. Uh, the international events. International events. events mm. yeah. Uh, uh, it's a trade hub, financial hub. Yeah. So if you want to be a person who is um, uh, a specialist in Africa, right? Kenya is the natural mm. place to be. Mm. Uh, it is central mm. and also proximity to home. Mm. I would imagine if the people in London were in a place where within 45 minutes they are seeing their mother, they Indeed. would definitely love this place here. Uh, Kale, kale. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another amazing video. Today we are so honored to host the president of Ugandans living in Kenya. And uh, today we are going to be discussing a lot of things regarding our brothers and sisters here in Kenya. So, my brother, you must welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to be part of uh, the interview. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, how has life been here? Uh, life has been... Uh, great i mm. would say mm. uh, i am in a unique position mm. um that my father worked here from oh. the 1987 interesting uh, into the 90s okay but i'm ugandan mm. and he took me back home mm. um for boarding school mm. uh, Budo junior mm. um soga college Mwiri, then Mwiri. Went, then uh, makerere hey, also go ruidi ah ruidi no ruidi no <laughs> 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 then uh, Makerere, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, when I finished, I, I went to the UK, oh. uh, studied there. Okay. But uh, when I came back, um, I thought it was only natural that I, I come back to Kenya, nice. where I had a lot of uh, cousins and uh, mm. networks. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before my next question, mm -hmm. I would like you to introduce yourself, your names. Mm -hmm. You've uh, introduced a bit of yourself, uh, yes. a little biography, yeah. but I think it would be nice if you tell us your names. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm called uh, Grant Rugarama. Rugarama. Uh, I'm a Muchida by tribe. Oh, from Kabale. From Kabale. Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I studied uh, engineering consulting. Okay. In uh, Scotland. Oh. Um, so I have an engineering background, mm. and I consult um, mainly on infrastructure mm. and uh, traffic congestion mm. um, around East Africa. Oh, amazing! Mm. So you've been part of those big projects in East Africa? Mm, yeah, several. Oh, okay. guys, interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who yeah, am I yeah. to sit with such a big person? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So. Um, I really didn't know that we have a strong Ugandan community mm. here in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah, and I believe there are many Ugandans who travel from Kampala or from Uganda to here and they don't hear about this. Yes. Kindly could you throw more light about the community, this community here? Well, the community here, mm. um, why most people don't get to know about it is uh, people tend to pass through. Um, especially in Nairobi, mm. it's uh, more like a transit hub. Yeah. Now, being a transit hub, people are always rushing. You go to the airport, you have a program. Mm. But if you stayed in uh, Nairobi for more than three or four years, mm. or, or two, mm. it will be very difficult if you're Ugandan mm. to miss us. Yeah, actually, yeah. Me, it's been two weeks, but right now I'm seated with the president. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not the president, it's more like a chair, it's an ordinary chair. Yeah. But still, you're the leader. It's a rotation, no? <laughs> <laughs> president is a very big word. Oh, <laughs> yeah. never know. Yeah. <laughs> never know. <laughs> Could be a prophecy. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, what mm. happened, it was um, many, you know, when you are a community of like-minded people, mm. uh, you get together to solve some small problems 
like uh, when you someone loses a, a, a spouse or a child, mm. we started like that, and also a sense of togetherness. Mm. Yeah, so the community grew, mm. and uh, we ended up having a WhatsApp group, mm. and I've been splintered groups mm. that uh, right now we have investment clubs. Interesting. We do also have uh, uh, pro bono law communities. We wow. also have uh, a group of engineers. Then also we have cohorts. Mm. For example, I said I am a, a median. Mm. I also happen to be the 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 chair or the president of the Mwiri Old Boys in Kenya. Oh, wow. Yes. In Kenya? In Kenya. Oh, <laughs> so, actually, he has the Mwiri <laughs> bracelet. Yeah, I do have the Mwiri bracelet. Oh, so, amazing. Yeah, so. <laughs> let, me, let me read what it says. <laughs> since 19... Yes, yes, yes. yes <laughs> it yes. says, uh -huh. since 1911, the great family, Busoga College, Mwiri. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm a proud Mwirian. Oh, yeah. interesting. So we do have uh, splinter. Uh, groupings, mm. but um, the umbrella mm. is mainly the Uganda is living in Kenya. Uganda is living in mm. Kenya. How many are we? Uh, the WhatsApp group right How now. How big is the community? The WhatsApp group itself is around 500 people. Okay. But uh, if you go by extension, probably be around 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 a thousand within Nairobi. Within Nairobi. Within Nairobi around. Uh, there we are talking about the corporate class. You. Mm, we don't like ch dividing ourselves, saying corporate or not, because uh, all Ugandans have faced the same problems, okay. or they would like the same attention and support. Mm. But um, you'd say majority are. Mm. Uh, we have lawyers, doctors, engineers, mm. we have people in the NGO world, we have people in the UN. I mean, it's more like a, a community. Mm. Yeah, a community that supports. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So mainly, uh, for Ugandan, they are back home or in the diaspora elsewhere. Um, how can this community be helpful to them in case they travel here? Essentially, it's like you have brothers. It's like if you go to Kabale for my, like myself, or yeah. if I go to Masindi mm. and I have a relative, mm. even if I'm doing uh, my own work, mm. at the end of the day, you can meet a, a relative who would advise you mm. and say, you know, they are, uh, wouldn't advise you to pass there. Mm. Uh, maybe there is a black spot or there are people who may not be so kind. Mm. So w having lived in Kenya, mm. we tend to have an understanding. Mm. For example, we can help people in terms of exchange rates, the best place to change money. If you are Actually, I was cheated yes, when I came here. Yes. I exchanged 500 UBX, I got 13,000. So you should have talked to us. <laughs> because some of us have got a shilling that we, uh, we can give you. Oh. So there are mm. benefits of having a local yeah. in an area which you're visiting, especially the tourists. Mm. A lot of our Ugandans also do have Airbnbs in Mombasa. Mm. They own. Airbnbs, really? yes, even so. Ugandans are doing it big. They are making some money, oh. and uh, humbly, they. I mean, if you're staying in the Ugandan's house, why would he try and uh, make a buck out of you? Yeah, and uh, we also travel this country. Mm. Uh, we do know the do the beautiful spots. For example, if I had known mm. you are going to Malindi, I would have told you that I was in uh, I was in Watamu and Malindi oh. uh, two years ago. I and missed I, that. And, uh, and I would have told you where to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Actually, guys, I was in Malindi and Mombasa and I got stranded there for almost a week. Yes. I didn't know about this community. Yeah. I later came to know about them when yeah. I'm in Nairobi. Yes. Yeah. So in fact, we have a, a consulate office in Mombasa. And uh, the head, I think, of uh, one of the most recent uh, uh, employees, say, who was sent there, is a Mwirian. And oh. they have his number. Oh, so it looks like you, the Mwirians, are so proud of yourself. We are so proud. <laughs> <laughs> we are so proud. <laughs> but we have a whole office, yeah. um, a consulate office mm. in Mombasa. Mm. And um, it is really full-fledged. Mm. And um, I would advise people especially Ugandans coming into Kenya. Mm. And this is something uh, that um, I would really like to stress on, that if you're coming into a, a new country, mm. and for, by example, I'm giving Kenya, yeah. please register with the High Commission. High Commission. The High Commission has been very, very helpful and instrumental mm. to our, 
organization community, community mm. they do advise us okay um the more you get closer to the high commission the better there is a, a police office okay. desk there is a military attache wow we have counselor services mm. on investment on immigration they are very knowledgeable they know the treaties between uganda and kenya mm. so really if you are coming into kenya for more than three days or four mm. it's only how it would be a very big advantage if to pass go by. pass by go to kenyatta avenue kenyatta avenue guys kenyatta avenue uganda house mm. and we just have oh, we name. have uganda house here we do have a uganda house wow owned by uganda in the government of uganda okay. in the city of nairobi Okay. That's where the the High Commission officer. Okay. Is, yeah. So you were telling us to pass by. Pass by. Mm. Register your name. Mm. How long you're gonna be, and generally where you're going to be, mm. and maybe your uh, your details, your contact details, so that should there be anything, uh, the, the 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 office knows where, where to, to start. start. Yes. Yes. You yes. want to get a problem. Mm. 90% of the time but the 10% or 1% mm. time you do get a problem mm. there is always a starting point exactly yes mm. just like in any foreign country yeah yeah, yeah 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 this community is so much organized just like you've had you go to the consulate and uh, there are many he, he was telling me that they are well structured uh, when you come to Kenya they will help you advise you according yeah. to your purpose of yes. coming here the High Commission is one of the, I think, the most uh, strategic and important mm. um, missions outside in Uganda because Kenya is probably one of the biggest trading partners with Uganda. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, it's the biggest in the, in the region. Biggest in the region. Yeah. So yeah. almost every Uganda, the relationship between Uganda and Kenya is yeah. symbiotic. It's, it's a healthy it's relationship. Very healthy. Yeah. Everybody importing anything to mm. Uganda really uses Mombasa port. Yes. yes. And it's a historical relationship. Yes. yes. So naturally, the mission is a strong mission, mm. and the team has been a very nice team, mm. and they are very professional. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's only unfortunate we lost our recent High Commission Haju Haju uh, last sorry. year. Mm. Uh, but we do the team that has is there. Mm. He left. He's very organized. Mm. They they do have several desks. And uh, if they if there is a question that can't be answered, mm. they will always call their counterparts in Kenya mm. uh, in the Kenyan uh, in uh, no the Kenyan government okay. or the Ugandan government, and you can never fail to get answers. Mm. And even if you don't get such answers, if there are soft answers like um, soft questions like where should I stay and what, mm. we Ugandans have been here for a long time. For a long time. Remember, as the way you have come is the way we also came. <laughs> the mistakes we have done. <laughs> we don't want you to repeat You first came as a visitor like yeah, me. Yeah, we also came as visitors. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that we settled. So, <laughs> I mean, why should you pass through the same mistakes I passed through yeah. when you are just, you are a brother? Yeah, yeah. actually, that, that brings me to this question. Yeah. Why of all countries you chose Kenya? Now, this is a personal question to yes. you. Because most of us, when we think of moving out of the country, we think of Canada, America. Yeah. That's where we think opportunities are. Yes. But according to my simple research here, there are Ugandans who are making it big time. Well, one of the biggest, I wouldn't say that, I think Kenya chose me. Chose you? Yeah, Kenya chose <laughs> it's me. A it's a calling. <laughs> uh, as I said, my, my father was... Uh, he was in Kenya for some time. My, my parents were in Kenya, in Mombasa, to be oh. specific. Uh, so I found it easier mm. uh, to be here. But Kenya is a, a transportation hub. Yeah. So if I want to go anywhere in Africa, I can, within moment's notice, go to JKI and buy a ticket and I'll be anywhere mm. within nine, nine hours. All right? Mm. Uh, I go to South Africa, Maurice in uh, Chigadi, mm, Egypt. Ethiopia, Egypt, anywhere. Mm. So if you want to be a person who is um, uh, a, a specialist in Africa, right? Kenya is the natural mm. place to be. Mm. Uh, it is central. 
mm. and also proximity to home. Mm. I would imagine if the people in London who are in a place where within 45 minutes they are seeing their mother, they Indeed. would definitely Honestly. love this place. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> you know, Mr. Chairman, yeah. it was my first time flying and yeah. moving out of the country. Yeah. I didn't even have enough time to enjoy the flight. It yes. was very short. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, so you got, the Kenya is a, is a nice place to mm. be. And if God blesses you and you get a little bit of a uh, few coins, mm. I mean, Uganda is just 45 minutes by flight. And yeah. uh, even if you go by bus, so eight ten hours. Hours, 10 hours there, 10, mm. ten hours you're in Kampala. Maximum 13 hours. Yeah, maximum. Mm. Yeah. So for us, Kenyans who live, uh, Ugandans who live in Kenya, a big function, a big wedding, mm. brother's wedding, you'll find us home. Okay. Yeah. It's on a weekend. Mm. They just ask for leave. Mm. Leave on Friday. Mm. By Monday, you're in you're in Nairobi again. Mm. If there's a funeral, someone has died. Mm. If you have money, you Back get home. an air ticket. Mm. You're, you're in Kampala. If uh, there is an issue, maybe someone has is, is playing around with your land. Mm. You can ask for leave mm. two days. Mm. You fly in the morning. Mm. You reach there, sort mm. out your issues, go to the lawyer, mm. come back the next day in the evening and you're in the office. Yeah. Uh, Talking about land, at the High Commission, is there a desk for land issues? There is a councillor desk. I uh, don't know the exact details, but they have been very helpful. And uh, this is something I also want to bring. Um, mm. The High Commission here, the mission here, for the last several uh, Independence Days, they have been very purposeful mm. in bringing uh um speakers of interest they brought the Uganda investment authority they brought people of nira mm. they brought people of uh, of the uh, immigration mm. they have been bringing people uh, nssf mm. uh, they even have uh, they would bring people of different banks mm. so a lot of uh, we ugandans have benefited mm. in opening uh, Ugandan bank accounts right here, and mm. the Visa card also finds you here. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I got an equity uh, bank account, oh, yeah. and the Visa was brought to me. Mm. We, the people who had delayed to get their IDs, mm. we got the nearer people who came, took our fingerprints, and uh, our IDs were, 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 were whatever, were, were, were brought. Issued, yeah. Yeah, they were issued. Mm. So the, the mission, the, the relationship between the mission and the locals, I think has been, I think, the best. Mm. Yeah, it's one of the best examples of symbiotic uh, relationships. relationships. Yeah. yeah, between mission. I normally hear in other missions that oh, they are neglected, but the mission is a uh, missions also have people. Mm. Yeah, so like if, in Saudi Arabia, we have heard of such stories. Mm. But really, if you approach them, they are also human beings. Mm. We work together, mm. and they really give us a lot of guidance. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Um, do you usually have events that bring you together as mm. Ugandans in Kenya? Yes. Mm. And how often? Uh, normally it is uh, spread, at, uh, I mean, any time, I mean, whenever you have Ugandans. Mm. We, like now, we are here in Nandi's uh, yeah. restaurant. Actually, this is a Ugandan restaurant. Yes, yeah. yes, mm. yes. So whenever I've, you feel... I've enjoyed uh, matoke and uh, <laughs> uh, smoked meat. Yeah. It's been a while. I really miss yeah. home. So I'll tell you, like, uh, if we get a Ugandan on the premise, mm. uh, we, if you want some Luwombo, mm. or some people like uh, uh, the Marakwang. Marakwang. Uh, yes, from the north. Sure. Yes. The, she, you, you just tell her what you want. A kalo. She kalo. Enturide. Mm. Enturide is also here. <laughs> I'm so, yes, we take Enturide and Mishera. So, how about uh, it? It is everything. Just know that uh, mm. this is a Uganda away from Uganda. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so, Madame Nandi will uh, look after us mm. and uh, we tend a weekend, I mean, just a phone call away. Eh? Mm. But uh, purpose, I know the independence is normally a big time for okay. us. Okay. So, we normally organize our events around independence. Mm. Then, every two months at least, mm. we have what we call. Uh, a get together okay and uh, some t depending um previously 
people who live in different parts of Nairobi would organize mm. yeah and uh, for example people in Siokimau can mm. organize people in uh, Karen can organize and then we all go mm. and it's a whole Uganda night sometimes we even import Uganda Waraji Uganda Waraji yes <laughs> and then <laughs> We have a nice time. Ugandan musicians sometimes. Ugandan DJs? Oh. Yeah, we have a gentleman who has now started what they call the Ugandan night. Okay. So Ugandan DJs, we have Ugandan music mm. and uh, even during COVID mm. because we were very isolated and closed, we always had what they call the the the, the Zoom night. Zoom night. Zoom night. Oh. And it was Ugandan music and uh, oh. there would be a DJ. Well, interesting. So during COVID also we continued with our So culture. that's how this community, that's how strong this community it's is. It's a very strong community. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually, yeah, and, uh, yeah. In terms of being uh, benefits of having a strong community, mm. um, for example, we do have doctors, okay. medical doctors. Okay. And we have noticed there is quite a number of uh, Ugandans, affluent Ugandans, who come for medical care. Yeah, in Aga Khan Hospital and the Nairobi yeah. Hospital. Really, if there is a community mm. and uh, you are being admitted, mm. I mean, uh, it doesn't hurt to just ask mm. uh, the community that really I'm going for this. Mm. Uh, how is it normally done? Mm. Yeah, we have gotten cases. Uh, a cousin of mine was here. And uh, they um, they were only limited to withdrawing only five million per day, I mm. think. Mm. So there are ways in which you know we can advise because yeah. there are very few problems that a Ugandan is going to face mm. that we haven't faced. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. And even uh, with investment, mm. uh, this is uh, number one a tourist hub. Mm. It is an events hub. Mm. They have a lot of events. Yeah. Uh, the international international events. events mm. yeah. uh, it's a trade hub, financial hub. Yeah. So if someone in Uganda has some money, uh, one of the big opportunities I'm seeing if they bought a flat near Aga Khan hospital. Hospital. Okay. Really, that Airbnb will always be full. Yeah, and you, you buy an apartment and lease it on Airbnb. Yes. Mm. You will always have your money. Mm. The children won't fail to get milk in Uganda. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So mm. um, let's go through that uh, from where someone should start. For instance, if I want to come here and I want to invest, what procedures am I supposed to go through? We talk about the work permit, a residence, becoming a resident of Kenya. Because I understand you can't do business without going through that. I think Kenya is quite liberal because if you look at, uh, I've seen so many foreigners. Mm. Investment as an investment, I don't think there is a restriction. You can invest as a foreigner, just like some people go to the US and buy flats. Mm. If you want to buy an investment, mm. yeah, I think previously they used to say that there would be a percentage of uh, of, 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 of Kenyan. Uh, Kenyan entity, yeah, okay. Uh, just a small percentage. I think it was five percent or three percent. Mm. But our lawyers can very easily advise. Because okay. I've seen so many, mm. uh, I've seen so many foreigners own property. That mm. is just if you want to own something. Mm. But in terms of business, you can get what they call uh, a, 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 an investment visa. Mm. Yeah, it is an investment an investment permit. Business permit, permit or business a business permit. Yeah, okay. yeah. But also there is also the usual work permit, which limits you to uh, two years. Eh? Okay, like it's as if you are employed someone. So which one is better? It depends on the circumstances. Oh, okay. So you you can also come and register a company with a Kenyan partner or a Ugandan who is resident here. Okay. So there are so many permutations. Actually, there are I think uh, up to ten classes. I'm not so sure, mm -hmm. but uh, all that information mm. is. Uh, can be given by our high commission, yeah, yeah. because they are in very close uh, co 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 connection with the immigration services, yeah? mm. and even the Ugandan lawyers mm. who are allowed. By the way, Kenya is one of the few countries that allows lawyers to practice in Kenya. Ugandan lawyers practice and oh. go to court and represent people mm. in this country. Oh, and the same. We are wondering why. Uh, I think they, they, they practice both in Uganda mm. and in Kenya. Mm. So a Ugandan can represent you okay. in a court of law here. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I am saying Have that you had some cases where you've helped oh, Ugandans? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because earlier on you talked about pro bono services. Yes. From the Ugandan community. The Ugandan community, yeah, we mm. do have some Ugandans who end up on the wrong side of the law. And you find them in the court. Mm. I think recently there was a person who had spent the longest time, Uganda has spent the longest time in the prison in Kenya, and uh, he was released. How so long was that? I think it was over 20 years or something. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And uh, it was through the pro bono, which mm. was working together with the Uganda High Commission. Oh, so okay. that one went. Recently we had a Ugandan, he was a trader. He, luckily, his friend knew me. And uh, I think he lost seven thousand dollars, mm. and he was in a hotel. Seven thousand? That's a lot of money. Yes, he went to the ATM card and found that there was uh, no money, and he ended up in prison. And uh, all of all of a sudden, why prison? So it seems he did not know the extent. Maybe he thought maybe there is a problem with the bank, but he had also not paid his uh, hotel. hotel bill. Okay. So and if the hotel bill is more than five, uh, yeah, I think it was uh, maybe two two months or whatever but he knew he had money or something or whatever it is mm. but he ended up in prison wow. so right now our people are also trying to help and things like that mm. so what i'm trying to say is that it also helps again it goes back had he been registered mm. have been a big at the high commission yes, yes yes yeah um we were talking about the work permit and the business mm. uh, permit. I want us to throw more light on that. But I wouldn't have much information. No, about the, the cost. The cost. Oh, yeah. Yes. The work permit. The work permit officially, I think, is around ten thousand Kenyan. Uh, yeah, Kenyan. Mm. Yeah, but I, I think that was also waived, 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 waived. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be free. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Previously, it was supposed to be around ten but I think it is now we uh, wavered. Mm. Yeah. How about the business permit? The business permit now it also I think that also depends on the amount you are going to invest here. Mm. Yeah, but it is not uh, insurmountable. I don't think it's insurmountable. Okay. Yeah. So, is Kenya a good country for investment? Uh, I mean, Uganda is a good place for investment. Mm. Kenya is also a good uh, place for investment. It depends also on investment. Just like when you go to Uganda, they say, ah, invest in land. Mm. Then others will say, oh, invest in stocks. Mm. Uh, others say invest in bonds. Mm. So it depends. Mm. It depends your way. But um, given the advantages I have uh, spelled out, mm. um, this is a transport hub. We have very many tourists that come here. Mm. Uh, health tourism is becoming a big thing. Yeah. Um, event. Ev there are so many events here. Mm. So, I do see this place being a nice place for, especially someone who is looking at a regional perspective. Yeah. Yeah, if you are thinking in, out of the box, uh, like yeah, I think not necessarily thinking about. If your business is mainly regional. Mm. and you tend to travel a lot mm. and also trying to capture a big number mm. of travelers mm. this would be a nice place to be okay yes oh, yeah. yeah nice place and also one thing i would also advise ugandans um <clears throat> ugandan professionals ugandan businessmen it doesn't hurt mm. if you have your business in Uganda and you partner in whatever way mm. with a Kenyan farm. Mm. Reason being that uh, we are going to the East, East African and community, community. Yeah. and that is not going to stop. Mm. Uh, we are soon going to have the East African protocol of freedom of movement of labor. Yeah. So when these things are be crystallized mm. in future, mm. the people who started early Mm. benefit the, the exactly, most exactly. so it is uh, about uh, positioning yourself for mm. the future exactly uh, and i don't see uh, these blocks that like the eu block mm. it started just like this yeah 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 and uh, with time mm. i see the next 10 20 years i see a person who has fit in both countries mm. will have an advantage exactly uh, yes because you can tap the strong points of Kenya mm. and also tap the strong points of Uganda. Yeah. Uh, a good example is I always go to the coast 
Mombasa. Uh, Mombasa. Yeah, this is, the, the, the aviation industry here is very yeah. developed. Actually, almost every county has an airport here. The bigger ones. Because yeah. we have an airport in Kisumu, Eldoret, mm. we have an airport Malindi. in Malindi, Mombasa, yeah. Yeah, and also Lamu. So, yes. what I'm saying is, if you find, uh, if you are a uh, tours and travels agent mm. in Uganda, mm. right, and you find a person who is coming to Marindi or Mombasa from Uganda, from Uganda, mm. and you have an office here, mm. right, mm. it is really easy for you to say, as you're doing your tour, you go to the mountain gorillas as well. Mm. So you, it's not like they will have to have an extra. Uh, travel mm. from Europe. They yeah. are already in the region. Yeah, you just channel them. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So I would imagine that if you are a tours and travels agent, mm. surely having a partnership, a working partnership with the Kenyan tours and travels, mm. is beneficial. Mm. Yeah. 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 And also now we have a national carrier, mm. Uganda Airlines. Uganda Airlines. I really love that uh, that airline with all my heart. Mm. Uh, it has started well. Mm. Yeah. And uh, speaking up, speaking up, mm. yes, uh, we have uh, our bombardiers, yeah, they are not as big as the <laughs> embryos, but um, but they are they quite are, more comfortable, they are quite comfortable. Mm. So, really, if we have a lot more traffic, mm. then the airline will have more money to yeah, put too. more flights, and then the prices will go down, mm. and things like that. And they are competitive, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. This is such a, an interesting conversation. Yes. Um, now, I know, I'm sure there are many Ugandans within Kenya who don't know about this community. Mm. If they want to join the community, mm. what can they do? Actually, I wouldn't say there are many who don't know. Mm. Uh, we are known. Uh, some decide, in just like uh, in a country, some decide to mm. keep af afar. Mm. And you can't force them, mm. but uh, it would be good at least. You don't have to join the community. Mm. Uh, as a minimum, register with the embassy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Register with the embassy. I can tell you that um, during in my travels around Kenya, I would estimate the number of Ugandans who live here, both uh, uh, legally and uh, you know, uh, mm. would be not less than 600,000 or 700,000 Ugandans. Mm. Yeah, we have people who are maids, we have uh, people who are like shamba boys, mm. uh, we do have traders who keep moving, the truck driving, the truck, people in logistics mm. are also very many. Mm. We do have now the the corporates, yeah, who are also quite many. If you add all those, and then we have, uh, I mean, uh, Ugandan women are really <laughs> loved here. <laughs> That's a very hot topic here. Yes, because yes. every Kenyan man I meet on the street and they realize I'm Ugandan. They be, bro, bring me Ugandan woman. <laughs> <laughs> so the Ugandan women have ended up getting married. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I personally mm. have cousins who are Kenyans. Okay. My wife, during my my father's stay in Mombasa, oh, yeah. several of my aunties uh, got married or got children with Kenyan men. So mm. really the community is very vibrant. Mm. Yeah, it mm. would be very difficult. So as a minimum, really, in a Ugandan here, just register with the Uganda High Commission. Mm. Uh, there are a lot more benefits than mm. uh, the, 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 the merits yeah. of being registered and the commission knowing our Ugandan stays here. Mm. And in case of anything, we can start from we here. We start from here. Exactly. Yeah. I've seen it happening. It has helped several people, mm. and uh, really, we are Ugandans. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I really thank the government of Uganda mm. for giving us a vibrant team mm. and a very supportive team. Mm. Yeah, the team we have here, I would not say there are people who there are people who know their mandate and they go out over and above. Mm. Yeah. To they serve. 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 Mm serve the Ugandan community. They have really tried. Mm. Yeah. Well done, well yeah. done, guys. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, but still, I uh, want us to still talk about a Ugandan who is here and wants to join the community, mm. the Ugandan community here. No, 
you will put my number in, okay. the, in the in the descriptions it's fine yeah it's okay just mm. put uh, my number in the script in the description mm. uh, or i'll give you my email okay in the description mm. and they i think always, let's put an email yeah my email in the mm. description they can always contact me okay and uh, we can also channel them as, okay. as, as 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 i as you said yeah because mm. i mean someone might be here and has never heard about us yes it's only natural that we we exactly. open up exactly. yes, to them so before we close yeah. any final words to our people watching from around the world we have people watching from america the uk where you back home uganda mm. yeah final words for the final words mm. are that uh, we are ugandans yeah first and foremost mm. being near a home Mm. Uh, there's a proverb that says uh, the people who are near uh, the fire feel the warmth <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the most. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, we are very patriotic people. Mm. We love our country. Mm. We. I'll give you an example. In our community, majority of us actually pay DSTV the premium. Mm. Such that the premium here in Kenya, yeah. so that we can see NTV, NTV and NBS barometer. Uh, barometer. <laughs> eh, eh, is it Casa? He says Casa Nemo or something like that. Casa mm. eh, <laughs> Meme. Is it ka- Yes. We also watch. Uh, there is this one, uh, Sanyuka. Mm, Sanyuka. Uh, Sanyuka. Yes. Sanyuka TV. Uh, Sanyuka TV. Mm. We we watch those things. Bukede. Bukede is standard. That one we have. Mm. Gatari Kofufu. Mm. That one we have to watch. Mm. Mm. So we are we are, we are in Uganda, but yeah. we live in Kenya. <laughs> this is very interesting. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, a Uganda living in Kenya mm. is a very patriotic person. Yeah, it's very close to home. Mm. Uh, recently, we had prices which were very high. Mm. Uh, my own mother was sending me matoke mm. and uh, doing sh- shopping for me, and we put on uh, the bus. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I eat matoke yeah. daily. Okay. Yes. Okay. So daily, are, daily. Mm. Yeah. I eat and then I I I, I have bushera mm. in my fridge. Bushera. Yes. And so, today. And today. <laughs> yeah. So 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 we are close at home. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we love our country. Very interesting. And uh, the fact that we love our country, we are very attached mm. to the home. Mm. People who are abroad, um, in the far countries, uh, consider Kenya. Mm. Come for a holiday, mm. and the one knows, one other thing that I've seen about our community, we really try to support anything Ugandan, mm. uh, like the Uganda Airlines. I've told you, mm. yes, uh, Kenya is, is a little bit cheaper, mm. but if you find the person with uh, some money, Ugandan of our community with some money, mm. you find them even paying, paying an extra, extra so one hundred, two hundred dollars. Support the, the, yeah. the airline because we have seen, we saw where Kenya is started, mm. and we know. Mm. Airlines. We may never reach where yeah. we are, mm. but that whole synergy of uh, that Ugandanness mm. yeah, is uh, very important. Yes. Wow. Yeah. This was an interesting conversation, yeah. and thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. I'm so much honored. Yeah. Yeah. So, our people watching, uh, if you found value in this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends and family, anyone who you think will pick something from this video, and uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you want to be hosted on this channel, a Ugandan in the diaspora here in Kenya, please reach out to me. I will leave my contact details as well there. So, I think we say bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Asante. <laughs> Thank you.